Hello everyone. Today we have a very interesting problem from the ISI BMAT entrance 2006. Using this problem, we will learn how to use the sign rule to solve geometry problems. So if you do not know what is the sign rule, don't worry, I will talk about it in this particular video. And I will show you how to use the sign rule to solve complex geometry problems. First, let me tell you about the problem. Suppose we have a triangle ABC such that angle B, this particular angle, is twice the angle C. So if angle C is theta, then angle B is twice of theta. And it's also given that CD is equal to AB. So CD is equal to AB. The question asks, what is angle A? What is the value of angle A? So this angle. So you can pause the video here and try to solve this problem on your own. It's a quite a beautiful problem and the hint is use the sine rule in different triangles. Okay, so now let's uh, talk about the sine rule quickly. What it says, and um, I write it down here. It says that in a triangle ABC, sine of angle A divided by small a, small a is the side opposite to angle A, the length of the side opposite to angle A. So sine A by small a is equal to sine B by small b. So this sine of this angle divided by small b is equal to sine C by small c. So sine of this angle divided by small c, which is the side opposite to angle c. So I'll sh quickly show you why that is true. So you need a construction. Take the center point O of this triangle. Join BO and extend it to meet the circumference at the point A prime. And join A prime c. So first of all, this angle A prime right here is equal to the angle A right because they are subtended by the same arc angle subtended by the same arc in the circumference angle subtended by the same arc in the circumference create equal angles that's a fundamental theorem in geometry okay the second thing you can observe is that b a prime c this triangle B A prime C is right angled. Right angled. So can anyone in the comment section tell me why is angle B A prime C right angled at angle C? So this angle right here is a 90 degree. So I will not tell you why. You can tell me in the comments why that is true. Once you have that, then you can calculate sine of A prime, which is equal to sine of A because angle A and A prime are same. So sine of A prime is opposite, which is small a by hypotenuse, which is the diameter 2r, right? Diameter is 2r. 2R, R is the radius of this circumcircle. So, what we get is sine of A divided by small a is 1 by 2R, which is a, an invariant for this circle. An invariant for this circle. So, with what we just saw is sine of A over small a is independent of the angle A and the length of the side A, right? So just in the exactly in the same, same way, you can show 
sine b by small b is also 1 by 2r and sine c over small c is also 1 by 2r. So all of them are equal to one another and therefore we have this equality. Okay, so this is known as the sine rule and we will be using this to solve this problem. Let's try it. Suppose this angle is alpha and this one is also alpha. Okay, so let's use the sine rule in this big triangle ABC. Okay, so it tells us that AB, okay, sine theta divided by AB. So sine theta, sine theta divided by AB, the side opposite to theta, is equal to sine of 2 theta divided by AC. Right? So sine 2 theta divided by sine theta is equal to AB over AC. Okay, that's excellent. But we already know that AB and CD are equal. That's given, right? AB and CD are given to be equal. So this is CD the triple. Or actually this is AC over AB. As I made a mistake. It's AC over AB. So that's equal to AC over CD. Right? I just replaced AB by CD because those are given to be equal. Okay, now let's apply the sign rule in this triangle. This angle is 180 degree minus alpha plus theta. So we can say sine of 180 minus alpha plus theta by AC is equal to Sine of 180 minus alpha plus theta by AC is equal to sine of alpha by CD. Right? Okay, so again we get AC over CD from here. So now we have to just calculate. So AC over CD is equal to sine of alpha plus theta over sine of alpha. Well, sine of 180 minus alpha plus theta is sine of alpha plus theta. That's a standard trigonometric um, identity. So now we can equate these two things, sine 2 theta by theta, sine theta, and sine of alpha plus theta by sine alpha, because both of them are equal to AC over CD. So what do we have? sine of 2 theta by sine theta equal to sine of alpha plus theta by sine alpha. So sine 2 theta is beco becoming sine 2 sine theta cos theta by sine theta. And this is sine alpha cos theta plus cos alpha sine theta by sine alpha. So I can cancel off sine theta and sine theta and I can cross multiply this. So I have 2 of sine alpha cos theta equals to sine alpha cos theta plus cos alpha sine theta. So now I can cancel off sine alpha cos theta. There are two of them on the left hand side and bring it to the right left hand side. So I'll have sine alpha cos theta minus cos alpha sine theta equal to 0 or sine of alpha minus theta is 0. Now in the comment section from this equation can you tell me what is the value of alpha and theta? We are just one step away from the final solution and with that can you tell me what is the value of angle A? 
This is a very nice application of the sign rule of trigonometry. And as I say, this is from ISI entrance 2006. It's also useful for mathematical olympiads. Thank you for watching this video. It is created at chidda.com. If you are interested in outstanding programs in mathematics, you can check the link in the description for more detail and join our community. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.